Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way to create and save gradients using swatches. So what we do is say we want to put something like a pick up the colors in the gold here and build a gradient. You could just sample colors out of here. But another way to do it is if you go to swatches and then to the hamburger in the corner here and say create palette from document and we say document palette because you want it just held here not to share with all other images and here we've got then colors which come out from this so we can use that to uh, guide a gradient so i'll click on the pixel layer here so i've got a new pixel layer and i'm then going to go to the gradient tool over here and whenever you come up here you've always got swatches here so you can start to look in this but I'm just going to go to the gradient here and start changing the colors here but I'd like to see it first of all so I can click in here and draw a line out here maybe put this in the center but I want this to be a a radial gradient so I just change the type here to radial so you can see now I got a I kind of a circle I can play around with that later but I can then start putting colors in. So I click on this here, go to the color, and down here, what I've got, normally might have this, I've also got down here swatches. And I can pick out the one I just created, and it's the file name .jpg, or in this case, but it's whatever your file name is. So I can, starting from one end, and I'm going to say, oh, let's use a, a brownish one at the middle. Then I'm going to click on another point up here, and we'll have a not quite so brown one in there and click on another one here and where's another representative one coming down here maybe that one and we'll click on a, a lighter one and maybe one in here see that one there it's created a bit of a step hasn't it so maybe i'll take that one out I literally click on it and just drag it off the line and it'll eventually disappear. There we go. And um, all the actual yellow do. Yeah, that creates too much of a line as well, doesn't it? So you just need to play around with these to find the colours that go best until you've got one here, the outer one. Let's do that to the very light yellow on the outside. So and then we can play around with these drag them about till they look you know kind of like the right amount of gold and a reasonable gradient within there i can change them as i like i can then now want to use that uh, to blend in so i go to the blend mode here to say normal and i come down to something like overlay and now if it's before and after you can see it adds that whole gold light to everything if it's too much i can turn it down and if i go away from it though and then go back to it i kind of lost the gradient and see i've got nothing up here but what i've got up here is, is captured in the recent colors that i've used so what i do for, to do that i want to add it but if i click on the add here it's only going to add this color up here so i want to get the, the that gradient into here and to do that I go to a paintbrush tool then click on the recent and that puts it up as a color here now when I click on the add here if I go down to the bottom here here it is it's just added it so I've now got I've saved that gradient and I can reuse that gradient again in the future so if I wanted to change this gradient I can simply go to the gradient tool again go down here and go to the recents there or I could go down to the one here so I come back another day and use it and then I can redraw it and here's that gradient I've got again that I created so I've saved it and I re can reuse it I can change the shape of it and whatever colors I want in it so completely re-edit it and this is on a pixel layer as opposed to normally if you want to go back and edit it within the same session you have to use a vector layer so this gives you a lot more power as well and what i do, tend to do is if i create a gradient that i like i will then put it into a separate palette and 
keep a palette of you know, gradients and things that I like. So there we go. Very, very simple. A way of creating and then saving gradients using swatches. So thank you very much for watching.